All right, this is finishing up the problem that we just did in 7.3b as in boy, and this is 7.3c in intermediate algebra. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph this. So, um, let me get a thick pen here and a color I like better, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph this part here. So negative 11 thirds, that is a little over negative 3. So that says that it's less than or equal to. So because of the less than or equal to, we get a box. And it goes this way, into infinity. All right, then we say t is greater than or equal to negative 1. So let's say that our negative 1 is there and it's greater and it also goes into infinity but positive. Notice there's no intersection. There never will be an intersection when you have the word or. Now I write this in my interval notation and my interval notation will look like this. Okay, that's negative 11 thirds. That's where we started and we went into negative infinity and this is rounded on all infinities. This is squared because it's square here. Now I have my other side, and I started at negative 1, and I went positive infinity, and it's rounded only because it's infinity. Okay, it's just always rounded. And because there's no intersection, we get a U there for union. And that ends up being our answer in interval notation. And at this point, we're going to skip examples 7 and 8 that have to do with story problems. And you'll notice you won't have any story problems in the homework. And that's it for Lesson 7.3.